Dear Governor Dukakis, dear President Levitt, dear Speaker Norlan, and all the distinguished guests, I'm so honored and uh, happy to be here today and to address the Bosnian Global Forum. For 65 days, you all see how Ukraine is defending itself from a brutal uh, enemy. For 65 days, Ukraine fights for our houses, for our homes, for our people, for our land, but also for freedom and democracy. We fight for the right to be who we are, to live peacefully in our country, and to decide how we want to live in our country. For 65 days, we have seen unbelievable destruction of our country. We have seen cities attacked from the sky, from east, north, uh, from south, we have seen some of the cities like Mariupol and Kharkiv and Chernihiv destroyed uh, to the ground. We have seen attacks on civilian objects, on hospitals, on schools. We have seen destruction of universities, which were there, some of them, for more than 200 years. And even nothing during the World War II did not destroy them. We experienced unimaginable losses. More than 4.5 million people had to flee Ukraine, primarily women and children, to save their lives. More than 7 million people are uh, internally displaced people in Ukraine. More than 10 million people, as we speak today, live under uh, a, a brutal conditions, shooting, I, under occupation, without water, without food, without basic needs to medical supplies. But also for the 65 days, we have shown to the world an example of bravery, starting with our unbelievably brave president, Volodymyr Zelensky, who, when this phase of the war started, and I want to remind you that this war is in Ukraine for the past eight years. Russia attacked us in 2014. But during the past 65 days, as soon as Russia started this full-fledged attack and invasion, this phase of the war, President Zelensky came out and he said, the president is here, I'm here, I'm staying in Kiev, we will not surrender, we will not give up, we, we will defend what we love and what we believe in. And this is what we are doing. And this is the whole nation fighting our brave armed forces, our National Guard, our rescuers, uh, but every Ukrainian essentially doing what our president has said we would do and we will not give up. Ukrainians love build things. We love uh, grow wheat. We love uh, start to, to initiate startups. But today we all had to postpone uh, what we were doing in the ordinary life. And we all have to defend our country. And we're very grateful for all, all of our strategic friends and allies, and especially to the United States for all the support with weapons, with sanctions, with financial and energy support to Ukraine. Because this fight is so much more than Ukraine. This fight is about the global security. This fight is about uh, whether Europe and, in general, the democratic world can feel safe. Whether you can make this civilizational choice to be democratic, to be free, to be sovereign, and not be attacked by the brutal enemy. Mm -hmm. So let me, on behalf of my president and all Ukrainians, first say great thank you and um, our deepest gratitude for this act of support and for the World Leader Award for Peace and Security. Uh, I, I, I agree with you that nobody deserves it better than our president who has shown an you know, uh, outstanding example of leadership under these dire circumstances. I would like to also thank you for this event and for the efforts that all of your professors and all of the distinguished uh, uh, guests are, are taking in order to help us to already brainstorm and think how we will rebuild Ukraine. Because for us, the number one goal, of course, is to win in this war. And as we are certain that we will not surrender, we are certain that with the help of all of our friends and allies, we will win this war and the peace will return to Ukraine. And then we will build back Ukraine better. We will build a new innovative Ukraine 2.0, 2.0, 2 
which will be the most efficient, the most democratic, the most innovative, and we would be happy to see all of our friends and allies to participate in this new endeavor. So with that, let me again thank you for, for this award. Thank you for inviting me to speak at the, at the beginning of the uh, conference. I wish you very fruitful discussions today. And uh, we need all the prayers and all the weapons that anyone can provide to us. And with that, all of us, democratic people, people who love freedom and who are ready to fight for it, will win. Thank you very much, and you all have a good day.